Hey, what's happening, ladies and germs? Elta McFall here in Granby International, about 45 minutes east of Montreal, and thankfully for me, for the second time, day after yesterday, which yesterday the weather was piss poor. Literally, it started to piss in the afternoon. And check this out. This is really what I want to see. Oh my God, it's a lineup of medium to heavy duty vintage trucks. This is what I wanted to see, man. Because vintage, medium duty, or heavy trucks, not pickups, are always rare in this part of the world because of a thing we call rust. Such as this 1948 to 1953 advanced design Chevrolet. And it's a 6400. And at that time, there wasn't even a V8 available yet. There were still big inlines. And that inline six cylinder they put in everything you can imagine. Look at this thing. Is it the original color? Uh, probably not, but it's not impossible. Look at this thing, man. Well, something like that. Look at that. I think that's all. It looks to me like that's a Holmes Wrecker body. Probably have an ad for this thing somewhere, actually. I wish I could sell it to the guy. Can't sell it my freaking shirt off my back if I wanted to this year. You know what I mean? Look at all these beautiful... This guy I'm going to have to get to. Bel Air here. Man, oh man, oh man. I see a lot of people here. Way too many people over here. I guess we'll come back around. Go back to back way here. What do we got here? Chevrolet number two, steak bed. Look at beautiful. Black and red, my favorite color combination. Man, oh man, oh man. Now this is your typical farm truck. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. This one is a 1500. So needless to say, the, the first one, that's the heavier model. They were also for like, built for long haul, uh, not long haul, but I mean, you know, tractor trucks, just like this guy here. Oh my God, look at this international. Holy Jesus Murphy. Oh my lordy. I am in my element. Nick, thanks to you, buddy. All thanks to my pal here. Look at that. I'd love to ride in one of these things. I think the only time I ever rode in a heavy Chevy truck was when my dad rented a Tilden. Big, big, uh, one of these huge, uh, what is it, like 40 foot trucks, something like 30 feet. And, uh,. Look at this international. This thing is a trip. I've never seen one of these ever in my life. This is an L series something. Tag on that. What year is that plate? Uh, it's a, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a heavy truck. Look at this. Look at that old Drummond, Drummond Pulp, which is funny because the park here in Granby is on Drummond Street. It's an R8185. Holy Toledo Batman. Oh man, and it's a tractor. I definitely imagine hit pulling one of those straight body trailers with the rounded edges in the front there. Too bad the lighting is not in the worst place because it's like, I don't even know what time it is. I lost track of that. It must be 11 or something. 11.38. Look at that. That's a mean looking mother. And of course, like Chevy GMC Ford, the cab was based off of the pickup truck. It's all shared. Are there any other heavy trucks here? Is that the only ones? Nope. Look at all the Chevys, though. Wow, look at all the Chevy trucks. Holy Toledo button. This is a nice collection. Oh, yeah, it has to be. It has to be. I'm a real sicko like me there. Yeah. Jesus Murphy. This guy I filmed yesterday. I love this GMC truck. It's amazing. It's so cool. And there's that Delta. Okay, I'm going to stop. I want to film that Delta. 